there are uh, two types of um, of uh, variable basically um, you can sort of think of there are things called static variables and there are things called instance variables now um, static variables are, are variables which apply only to the class itself and not to the object so for example um, a typical example of a um, of a uh, static variable which is also by the way known as a class variable is um, a count of the number of objects that get created if you think about that, that that is a property of the class itself not the object there's no point in each object having a, a count of the number of objects because it doesn't know basically the thing that knows is the class because it's the class that creates the object so uh, that sort of count would would um, be, it would belong to the class so it's, it's so that's why it's called a class variable. Um, so if you take a look at this, here's, here's an example of something called my class, which um, has got a static variable which is an integer set to zero initially, and um, a rather private variable underneath there somewhere in something or other. And um, uh, when you create it, here's the, here's the constructor. The constructor, by the way, is uh, doesn't return anything at all. It's got nothing on the right here. And the name has to be the same as the name of the class. That's how you know it's a constructor. And um, uh, what it does is increment the counts. And uh, then there are other fields. And if you look at what's going on over here, um, is the uh, class here. And when you, when you call new, it uh, calls this constructor here, creates the object over here. Now the object um, would have uh, that private variable int i there. Any other private variables that there might be, any other fields and stuff. Sorry, any other private and non-private variables you know, which are instance variables. And any other you know non-static variables over here. And the constructor and the other methods um, um, and the static variables they belong to the class so they just sit in one place in memory there and the object just contains that lot basically the instance variables um, they, yeah just the instance variables that's what belongs in the object itself and that's what happens when you create one um, what happens is just it just uh, the instance variables get allocated and that's what's in the object um, and it always appears, of course, as though you've got this other stuff in there as well, but you haven't. It's just located in one place in the, in the class.